is Europe now a safer place for your data? Well, one year after the entry into force of new EU regulation on data protection, we had a look at their impact on people and companies. If data is the new oil, you better protect it properly. Since May 2018, the General Data Protection Regulation has been shaping the way companies and organizations handle the personal data of EU citizens. Adapting to the new rules has been a challenge for some. For many companies, it has been actually a, a massive amount of work to find out actually what data they had and where the data was located. Mastercard had already done that exercise, that data mapping exercise. Once actually you know what data you have and you have cleaned up your data, you find out actually what data is up to date, what data is relevant. It enables you to better comply with the law, but it also creates massive business opportunities. The new regulation meant tougher controls from national data protection authorities. The number of notification of breaches increased, but only resulted in a few fines for companies. The most significant were imposed by Germany and Poland, but only France managed to fine Google for 50 million of euros for lack of consent on the advertisement. Sometimes GDPR enforcement in cross-border cases is lengthy because of the fragmented application of the rules among different member states. EU Commissioner Jourova is urging government to do more to fill this gap. Just imagine some big company, I will not name and shame, but of course I mean somebody like Facebook. <laughs> well, uh, just imagine they, they will do the same harm to the people in all the member states and suddenly the people in different states will see different reaction. I don't think it's fair. And I said before, the GDPR should bring more fairness to Europe. And you Annoying telemarketing calls, receiving unrequested promotional emails and surveillance by CCTV cameras are the main reason for complaints. Individuals are more aware of their rights, but some still feel confused. We need maybe more information and more awareness about the risks because often people do not necessarily know what they are exposed to. The European Commission has now launched an awareness raising campaign to encourage citizens to have a better understanding on how their data is controlled. Elena Cavallone, Euronews, Brussels. The European Commission will also report on the application of the General Data Protection Regulation in 2020. Elena Cavallone, Euronews, Brussels.